What is going on, guys? I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegis. This is another edition of Tropics Watch, where we are getting ready to, at least officially speaking, close out hurricane season. But are we? We will have the opportunity for a little bit of development post-Thanksgiving, maybe getting into the first couple of days of December as well. Certainly unusual, not unheard of. So we're going to take a look at that area that could develop beyond Thanksgiving. Again, nothing of huge concern. It is, of course, the end of the season. These things are typically ugly and weak if they get going, but we're going to talk about it anyway. Again, there's still a lot of time to watch for anything. There is nothing out there at the moment, but I'll show you the area that we are going to be watching for something to kind of try to spin up as we move into the last few days of November. No new development, though, is expected over the next few days. I'll bring my trusty arrow back into the mix and see here. Just a cluster of showers out into the main development region of the Atlantic. Again, that part of the season shut down anyway. We typically see that go away as we move into uh, late September, really into October. In the Caribbean right now, there's a lot of clear skies. We do have uh, some thunderstorms towards Central America, towards Panama, towards Honduras and Nicaragua. That little flare up there, nothing is expected to develop with that. We also have a round of thunderstorms in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. That is going to bring an unsettled and kind of ugly end to the weekend start of Thanksgiving week to Florida into the deep south and southeast. That is non-tropical in nature and not is it not expected to uh, really develop any tropical characteristics either. So again, good news in the short term. We're almost there, at least from a historic, at least from the season aspect from it. Again, the peak was September 10th. That's your arrow there. We are right at that yellow line, rounding out November. And you see, again, as we get to November, climatologically speaking, the activity tails off very, very quickly. We were kind of displaced the activity beyond peak by about six weeks. So, November has behaved like October should have, and October behaved as the start of September should have. So it's been a weird season to date, of course. Very, very quiet to start, and then very active to finish. So here we go looking deeper into beyond Thanksgiving. There's a lot of colors on your screen. I'll explain this in a second after we get to the pause, which I have right here. Post Thanksgiving now, this is on November 28th, we're going to look towards South America, and this is kind of where Nicole originated as well, some thunderstorms moving off of South America, getting out into the warmer waters of the Caribbean, and then getting its act together, of course, once it got up towards uh, north of Puerto Rico and the Turks and Caicos. We're going to be looking down to the central and western Caribbean. You see all those different colors. This is the spin now on the GFS representation of it, the American model. And where you're seeing more of a cluster, that is where we will see the potential for development. You saw that little spin there kind of flare up. And I'll point this out again. It's in that circle, kind of moving towards Central America. Again, don't hone in on specifics here. It's just that we have several model guidance and several ensembles, uh, different initial conditions being put into the model. That's where you get the ensembles from. Kind of hinting that we could have something down here post Thanksgiving or into the first couple of days of December that could move up towards Cuba, Jamaica, or stay down here. Details would be extremely hazy on if we can get it going or if it's going to materialize, but there could be at least an area of disturbed weather. Now, the one thing here, while it is much, much cooler, much, much colder through the lower 48, we've had a couple of big cold fronts come through to really chill down the water temperature in the Gulf of Mexico. It is still very warm in the Caribbean. You see it there, 88 degrees in the Western Caribbean. So it is still very, very warm. And not only is it still very, very warm, we still have that very warm and very deep warm water. You see there, there's still in and around Jamaica, that very high chiclet, if you will, that very high color popping up right around the island and we still have that high potential energy for tropical systems to take advantage of so if we do get a cluster of thunderstorms to kind of slide up into the western and central caribbean there is still a decent shot for some tropical development now we do have cold fronts coming down here as well 
They can oftentimes be a focal point for late season development once they stall out over the warm waters of the Caribbean. But what they will also do is help to introduce wind shear. So if something were to get up into the Gulf of Mexico, number one, notice how we have the blue color here. So we've got low heat potential here. Again, it is much, much cooler. We have water temperatures mainly in the 70s. Certainly, there could be something brewing there, but it's going to be really, really hard to sustain something if it got up into this area or even out over into the extreme southwest Atlantic because of it's much, much cooler. And again, the warmth, which there's little of anyway, is also not very deep. So again, it, it would take a lot and likely wouldn't. But that wind shear, of course, would also rip these things apart. We have stronger jet stream now as we get into the end of fall and into winter. That will introduce more wind shear as it gets closer to the lower 48 as well. So there would be a lot working against this. There are just indications, again, that we could see something, if not develop, then try to develop as we move into those last couple of days post-Thanksgiving. Here is where we stand again. This is going to be your name list for the 2022 season. And after that slow start again, we went gangbusters with having three named storms in November. And not only that, three hurricanes in November, which is extremely rare to do. We had more hurricanes this year in November than what we did in August. So absolutely insane and crazy. If we were to get a named storm in that ballpark again of the last couple of days in November or early December, it would be Owen. Hopefully we never meet Owen. Hopefully this thing never pops up. But nonetheless, that chance is going to be there as we work into the last couple of days in November and to start December. Again, the season officially ends on December 1st, but that doesn't mean the storms stop. They certainly become less and less likely, of course, as we cool the water temperature down. Now, I know a lot of you might be asking, have we had that happen before? Have we had December systems? We have. In history, there has only been one landfalling tropical system in the lower 48. It was an unnamed system back in 1925, and I'll give you one guess as to where it made landfall. Southwest Florida. <laughs> so... The opportunity is there. It is extremely, extremely rare for that to happen. We were impacted by a tropical system, Olga, back in 2007 in Puerto Rico. So certainly these things do happen. It's not unheard of. And in a year where we had displaced and now the atmosphere realizes that it's in a La Nina season, it just took a long time for the ramifications to go across the globe. Of course, we always talk about how La Nina or how El Nino can impact the hurricane season. La Nina typically means an active year. And again, it was behaving more initially like an El Nino. So it took the atmosphere some time to kind of kind of flip that switch, thankfully. But I mean, again, it doesn't matter because we've had very high impact storms um, this year, of course, with Fiona in Puerto Rico, Nicole in Florida, Ian in Florida, Lisa in Central America. And forgive me if I am missing one. But those are the ones uh, at the top of my head anyway that we have um, unfortunately had to deal with this season. Alrighty, guys, we are almost done. Again, with each passing day, the water temperatures do get cooler. The atmosphere becomes less conducive. We are almost there. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Tropics Watch. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. If you like the content we are putting out, we would love to have you. Hit that subscribe button. Give this a like. And we will catch you next time.